your child loves to draw, this book is definitely something you may want to consider. Hey, I'm Kira and welcome to Shine Bright Homeschool. Today I have a treat for you. Some of you may know about these books. They're from a company called The Thinking Tree. And I found this book online. I wanted to know what it meant by seven subject science portfolio. This looked like a book for those who like Minecraft, but even those who don't. It's a really good workbook. It covers physics, geology, chemistry, meteorology, zoology, botany, and technology. Whew, that's a lot. So we have not actually used this book. I saw it online. I thought it would be a good learning tool. And just this year, I have not been able to incorporate it. It shows in the table of contents that it goes over botany, chemistry, geology, meteorology, physics, technology, and zoology. Don't tell your kids, but it's not really Minecraft themed. It has some cute drawings in here, but it's not really Minecraft. But it's a good way to get them interested in seeing what this book is about. It has tons of open space for them to learn and them to draw. So let's take a deeper look in this and see if it's right for you. Here we go. This is gonna be a lot of information for you to see. So it's breaking down your pages right here for your table of contents so you know where the certain topics start. Again, a lot of really cool places to do some of their own coloring and art, which I think is really nice. Here it's encouraging you to watch a documentary and then just kind of write a review about the information you've learned. Here's where you write any observations from your science experiments that you've done and seen online. Uh, here's a comic strip which is super fun for the artists. Here's looking at vocabulary words. So this does not have a lesson plan. It's really gonna be basically on your own and what you feel like your child can handle. So there really isn't any right or wrong answers here. It's just basically you reviewing your child's observations and their writings and their artistry and just kind of figuring out, you know, if they're actually retaining the information that they're learning about or not. I have a sixth grader and definitely some of this is gonna be a little bit below his schooling level. He doesn't do Minecraft actually anymore, but I know that some of this would be very interesting to him, the way they're giving the opportunity for him to color and to design, and he's a big time on drawing. I would definitely say consider this more for fourth and fifth grade, especially if your child is maybe just getting into different things about Minecraft, that at least you can use some of these to really make connections with what they're interested in. Here we're talking about weather and the atmosphere. I like that it gives you the opportunity to research different occupations in the different fields. Some of these illustrations I think are really well done in here. All right, so we're definitely in technology here. Occupations about programmer, web developer, software developer, Here's zoology. This is the last section here. A zoo curator occupation, wildlife rehabilitator, wildlife biologist, marine scientist, wildlife sanctuary director. And in the back there's a couple more places to do cute art pictures as well. So the Thinking Tree does mention that their books are good for children 
struggling with more of an ADHD or dyslexia because there isn't as much reading. There's more part of you as the mom teaching them the information and seeking out and researching information with them and then them putting it down in a way that they can understand with more drawing but not as much actual reading and maybe writing. So it's a different viewpoint to learning but I think it really helps anyone especially who has artistic children like I do. Gives the child an opportunity to take what they've learned and put it down in a way where they can make a connection with it. I did want to mention that they have books listed on the back. So there's tons of other different books that you may be interested in. Math Mysteries, A Beginner's Homeschooling Journal, A Do-It-Yourself Curriculum, Adventure Journal, Travel Dreams, Mom's Handbook, Learning to Draw Minecraft, comic book Mac and ocean creatures and I know they have so many more online I will be reviewing a few other books that I got from the thinking tree that I am excited to share with you make sure you click the subscribe button and click the bell for notifications also give this video a like that way you know when I share my next video on thinking tree books don't forget to look in the description below because I also have a link to this book on Amazon. That way it'll be easier for you to find. Hey homeschool moms, hang in there. Christmas break is coming. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, shine bright homeschoolers.